A stretch of coastal Nova Scotia is the focus of a growing conservation effort. The islands, about 100 in total, are being eyed for development. But the residents who call them home, along with conservationists, say they should be kept in their original state. Ross Lord reports. This is considered one of North America's few remaining coastal island wildernesses. More than 100 small islands off Nova Scotia's eastern shore that have remained largely undisturbed for 10,000 years. When an American developer decided it would be a great place for a golf resort, people on the nearby mainland thought otherwise. Now a non-profit conservation group is working with the Nova Scotia government to keep things just the way they are. To be able to protect something of this size uh, and of this scale, particularly with such close proximity to an urban center of Halifax, which is really only about an hour away, uh, is pretty rare uh, in, in North America now, particularly in, in southern parts of North America. The islands cover 7,000 acres of land and include 120 species of birds, a section of rainforest, and even white sand beaches, a dreamscape for wildlife researchers. So the assurance that these islands will not in the future be changed makes them, from a scientific point of view, potentially very valuable. The Nova Scotia Nature Trust has raised $4 million for things like survey work, management plans, and purchasing islands from private owners. With help from an anonymous donor, it hopes to reach the $7 million mark. For Brian Murphy, whose family has lived nearby for centuries, it's a signal people here have their priorities straight. The big thing is that uh, It'll enable all the local people, the residents, to use this as they always did uh, and their children to come. Long-term possibilities include using the islands as an ecotourism attraction, cherished from a safe distance. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.